Okay, the previous version of the circle class was not bad, but it was a little bit inefficient. Because in that example, every new circle had its own individual copy in memory of the radius. All right, well, that's fine, because each circle could potentially have a different radius. So it makes sense that each time you make a circle, it has a separate radius. If you change the radius of one circle, it doesn't change the radius of a different circle. Fine. But each new circle also had its own copy of the get area function or method. Well, that's kind of wasteful because the get area function is the same for every circle. The radius is different for every circle, but the function is the same because the function calculates the area based on the radius. So if I make 100 circles, JavaScript will store in memory 100 radiuses or radii. Fine, that makes sense because they're all separate. But JavaScript will also store 100 copies of the get area function. But that's wasteful because the get area function is the same. And it's quite common to have classes that contain many methods and only a few fields that actually change. And if you make many instances of those classes, then JavaScript is using a lot of memory needlessly. It's making copies of all of those functions. So JavaScript has this idea of properties that belong not to each individual instance, but shared properties that belong to the class. And you use a special field that's automatically defined called prototype. So if you take the class name like person or a circle and you say dot prototype dot a field name, then it assigns it at the class level. If you do this for a regular property like radius, you get a problem. Now all circles share the same radius. That's probably not good. But if you want something that they all share, usually they all share and it never changes, then you can put it in a class level property by using the prototype name. And so methods, functions that belong to objects, are really just a special case of this. So you say circle dot prototype dot get area equals a function. Or you say person dot prototype dot full name equals a function and so forth. And technically you can do this anywhere because you can add properties to classes and objects retroactively as we saw. But as we also discussed, it's better to do it in the constructor. It will confuse the developers later if you break your object definition down into multiple pieces. The only time you want to do this later is if you're adding a method to an existing class that somebody else wrote, like a built-in class, and we'll, we'll discuss whether this is a good idea later. Okay, so here is the previous definition of the circle class. It worked fine, but by assigning to the individual instance level property, Every time you make an instance of a circle with new, JavaScript in memory stores a separate instance of the get area function. That's just wasteful. And sure, you get the right answer for the radius and for the area, it works fine. But if you make classes later with lots and lots of methods and then you make many instances, then memory is being wasted excessively. So instead, you should define get area as a class level property, something that belongs to the circle class so that if you make an instance with new and you look up the radius and you calculate the area, the behavior is exactly the same for functions. Now, for regular fields that could change, if you attach them to the class, you change it in one object, all the other objects see the change. That's kind of for shared data. But for methods, the behavior is exactly the same. The difference is efficiency. You're not wasting as much memory because each time you make a new circle, JavaScript is allocating space for a new radius field, but it's not allocating new space for a get area method field whose value is a function. That's stored in the base class, the circle class.
All right, this is definitely an improvement in terms of efficiency, but it has a deficiency in terms of maintenance. There's no way around this. This is just the way JavaScript works, but people rightly complain about this a little bit. Because what if you go back later and you say, well, you know, I really didn't want to call this a circle. I wanted to call it a round shape. And you rename your function to be round shape. Well, the problem is you have to remember to rename it here also. And you could forget. And so the name of your class could be round shape, but the function is not attached to round shape. It's attached to something else, circle. And JavaScript won't warn you. So you ought to use the prototype property when you're assigning either fields that can change that you want all instances to see the change, shared data, or much more commonly, methods. Methods don't change. They have a single value, but their output when you call them will change because they're based on the fields. So methods should always be assigned to the prototype property so that the instances are shared.